I'm your host, Marilyn Morris, and today I'll be helping you get started with building a compost pile and creating valuable soil for your garden. Let's get started. You might be wondering, well, what is compost? Or what is composting? Composting is the natural process where organic material from your garden is broken down into a humus-rich soil that's very valuable for your plants. I like to work with two piles at once. This one here shows the compost when it's still just a co all the different components, the greens, the browns, and this one here is the finished compost. If you live in the wood streets in Riverside or many other areas, you have a clay soil. And when it gets wet, it turns to, to slush. When it's dry, it's as hard as a brick. So that's the before right there. Very hard to grow anything. My first vegetable garden in that soil was an absolute disaster. And here is what compost looks like, composted soil with some clay mixed in it. Much, much, much better for your plants. Where should you put the compost pile in your backyard? I think it's a good idea to have them in a convenient location, one that you can get to easily, and that where you have enough room to work around because you'll have to be in there turning it and hauling it into a wheelbarrow and taking it to your garden. So convenience is important, but don't have it too close to your backyard. It's true that a well-tended compost pile doesn't smell, but you don't really want to run the risk. So don't site it near a place where you entertain guests or where you like to eat out. It's also important to have a water source nearby. In our climate especially, occasionally you'll need to add moisture to your piles to keep the decomposition going. And so you want to have at least a hose that will reach that. Also, don't put it on concrete. You want to have it on open soil so that the microorganisms in the soil can work their way up into the compost pile and help in the decomposition process. I purchased these bins at a workshop put on by the Riverside County Waste Management Department. There's been a lot written about what goes into a compost pile and what the balance of green and brown should be. And if you want your compost pile to cook really fast and get you soil, a lot of soil throughout the year, you have to pay more attention to that. But if you're kind of a lazy gardener like I am, all you need to do is combine green waste and brown waste at a ratio of about two to one green to brown. Green waste includes things like trimmings from your yard, kitchen scraps from your kitchen, and this you want to only use vegetable and fruits, fruit scraps. You don't ever want to put any dairy products, any meat, any grease, anything like that into your compost pile. So you just dump that in. And then you also want to have brown material. You can use leaves, these are avocado leaves, very good. And you can even use things like bougainvillea flowers. Just dump it in there. Now that you have your green waste and your brown waste in the bin, take a pitchfork and mix it up a little bit. The green provides your compost pile with nitrogen and the brown waste gives you a lot of carbon. And together they'll make a nice rich soil for your plants. But two other things are important. One is moisture. You want to have the, the compost pile to be damp. The rule of thumb is like a sponge, that not too wet and not too dry. And the water is important to help the microorganisms work to break down the materials. The other thing that's important is airflow. And because the bacteria that work on the compost pile are aerobic, meaning that they need oxygen, you want to make sure that there's air within the materials. So that's where the turning comes in. Every now and then, you need to go out to your pile and you kind of mix the materials up. You introduce more air and you get a, a better blend. And that's also why I like to work with two piles, because sometimes I'll tear this one down, take out the finished compost, and put the unfinished into this pile, and then start the process all over on that one. And this right here, believe it or not, is what something like that turned into. And you can see that it's a beautiful, rich soil full of organic material and nutrients for your garden. All that we need to do now is take it from here, put it in a wheelbarrow, and take it to our vegetable or flower garden. Adding this soil right next to the Roma tomato plants will really help, help my harvest later in the summer. You can mix the compost in the soil or you can do what I'm doing here, which is just applying it as a mulch. Both work.
Well, I hope I've inspired you to get started with backyard composting. It's fun, it's free, it's easy to do. Thanks for watching.